Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Today I want to talk about something. Um, I think th there was so much going on in my head when I woke up this morning. I had watched a video, uh, a documentary last night, and it was called Pres Prescription Thugs. Prescription Thugs. And actually, it was talking about the prescription drugs that people can get to take pain, the opiates and et cetera, et cetera, that people can take and how people get hooked into, into this. Um, and then I watched another document. I was doing a documentary. I was on a documentary kick yesterday, and I watched another documentary about um, how people have been suppressed and oppressed, et cetera, et cetera. And so it rolled in, into this for me that at what point, at what point do people take ownership for their life? At what point do they stop um, casting aspersions and stop casting blame for what's going on? You see, it's so vitally important. And, and let me just say this, um, because this is something that I talk about actually virtually once a week. Um, to a group of ladies. So let me just say this. I'm not condoning anything that has happened to anybody. Let me just get that out of the way. Anything that has happened to you, your person, and or your families. What I'm talking about here is taking your life back. You know, uh, uh, in addition to this, the documentary, recently I had um, read in one of the many books that I'm reading, recently I'd read about a young man who had a family who was, who was in an accident and this accident left him a quadriplegic and he could only move from the neck up. And yeah, it took him a moment to get his life together. It took him a moment to find his equilibrium. It took him a while to do that. But he had a wife and two children, two small children at that. And he decided that he was going to provide for his family. And this is something that he did. His quadriplegic can only move from the neck up. So one, one day his dad was visiting and he sort of like was sitting next to him and he said, you know, son, I, I just, I, I don't understand how you've been able to do this. I.e., I, I, I'm amazed, I'm proud, the whole nine yards. And his son looked at him and basically said to him, well, Dad, um, I may not be able to leave the bed physically, but my mind can. And, you know, this is the, it, it's this kind of thing that I'm speaking about. Take your life back. You see, this young man could have allowed the situation, his situation as a quadriplegic, to dictate how his life was going to unfold. He could have just laid in his bed and just given up. But after a while of, you know, woes me, poor me, blah, 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 and the things that you go through, he made a choice to take his life back. He made a choice that, yes, I might not be able to physically get out of the bed, but I can mentally get out of the bed. I can mentally do what I need to do. And that's what this man did. So, in Stop the Blame Game and Take Your Life Back, literally I mean that, after a point in time, you have to come to some sort of resolution and you have to own, you have to own your part in what's gone on in your life. You have to own your part of what's gone in, on in your life. If you don't own it, that means whatever it is, that has created this angst, whatever it is that has created um, this, this, whatever's going on, this turmoil in your life, has you. It has you. When you own your life, you step into personal power. When you own your life, you step into um, the ability to create. When you own your life, you can design your life the way in which you want it. You see, if you don't own your life, if you don't take ownership, as I said, somebody else has you. So if you've been in a bad relationship, 
if you've been in a bad relationship or the relationship was good and it dissolved and now you are in a bad space what I say to you is don't ignore how you feel I'm not talking about ignoring how you feel that's not what I'm talking about here I believe that you should feel every emotion every emotion and I believe that you should feel it what I truly believe is that you should go through it to get to it and that's the other side don't don't try to squash it but at the same token or by the same token you cannot live you cannot live in things that have happened in your past you can't live there you can't live on a continuous vibe of blaming Blaming him, her, she, who, if I would have, should have, could have. You can't live like that. That's not life. Or should I say, let me phrase it this way. You can live like that if you choose. For me personally, my take on that, personally and professionally, that's not living life. That's not living life. In order to take your life back, in order to, and this could, this could be because you have lost your job, because you lost your home, because it doesn't matter what the situation is. You see, one of the things that we do, guys, one of the things that we do, it's really easy to look out and point the finger. It truly is. It's really easy to look out and point the finger. Where the work becomes really hard is to look at self and look at self internally and say okay you did this you did that you did own it you did that wrong every one of us has a story every one of us has a story and as I say to the ladies that I speak with weekly you know if we cried all of us could cry and if we cried we would cry so many tears that we would flood Las Vegas Boulevard the strip we could do the breaststroke, the backstroke, the doggy pad. We could swim down Las Vegas Boulevard with the tears that we would cry because everybody has a story. And because everybody has a story, it means that everybody has um, blame that they would like to assign. But again, that's okay for a minute. That is okay for a minute. If it's going to help you to go through it, to get to it, fair enough. But you cannot live there. You see, because if you live your life as blame, that's the only thing that's going to come to you guys. Whatever you put out there is the thing that's going to come to you. So today, what I'm really talking about is taking your life back. Take ownership of your life. Take ownership of the things that you have done. Some of them aren't pretty. Some of them aren't nice. Some of them have come from a petty place and some of them have come from a good place, a good place judging by you, but for the other people who were on the receiving end, not so good, but own it. There's a freedom. I, I don't even know how to explain this, honestly, guys, but there is a freedom in owning what you do. I, I don't know how, to, and I truly don't. Other than it's something that you would have to experience for yourself. There is a freedom in owning what you do. A freedom. Personally, it's a freedom like nothing I've ever experienced in my life. When I chose to own my life, and this, I do this professionally and I do this personally. Anything I talk about, guys, just so we're on the same page, anything we talk about, I, I do for me personally. Okay? So there's a freedom in owning your life. So where I'm going with this today is, guys, stop the blame game. Even yourself, this, it's not about blame. It's about looking at a situation and deciding for yourself what works for me, what doesn't, and what does it look like for me to move forward in my life. And that's what you need. What does it look like for me to move forward in my life so I can take my life back? I started out talking about the prescription drugs. Uh, the um, documentary that I had watched and it was called Prescription Thugs and um, one of the things that I would say that I did like because I was sitting there watching it and I'm thinking 
yeah, there's culpability on both sides, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the person who is popping the pill has the onus to take care of self. If people are going to make money on you, they're not too worried about taking care of you. They, they're worried about their bottom line. And one of the things that I would say, because I was sitting there and that's what I was thinking, I was listening to them talk, and I felt for them because they had family members who had died. And I felt for them. I, I, I had the empathy for them. But that being said, it's about supply and demand. It's about supply and demand. Believe me, if there is no demand there, the big pharmaceutical companies will pharmaceutical companies won't be making the things that they make. It's bottom line. But where I'm going with this is people need to own their life. Own your stuff. Own it. Own it. It's your life. So take your life back. Take your life back. Take it back little bits at a time, but take it back. It's your life. Look at what's gone on in your, in your life. Stop assigning blame. Start looking at it as what is it that I am wanting to do for me in this moment? What does it look like to take the first steps to getting what I want in my life? It's as simple as that, guys. And it truly is as simple as that. The hard, the hard work comes in having the conversation with self and then taking those steps. So I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. I hope this made sense for you today. I was on a roll. I got out of bed this morning. I had all these things and I was like, okay, Wentz, you need to condense this down. You can't, you know, otherwise you'll be doing your own hour documentary on Facebook Live. So many guys, stop blaming even yourself. Take your life back. Have a conversation with you about what it is that you are wanting to do in this moment and then what it looks like to take the first step. Until next time, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. You can find me at thelawsofattractioninaction.com, right here on Facebook, The Laws of Attraction in Action. And uh, that's the group and that's the page. Until next time, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Peace. Bye.